Today's wine text is the 2016 Clos Saint Jean Via Vigna Chateau de Pop. So there's a bunch of things going for this wine, uh, specifically, uh, and and most of you that know me on wine text and all my colleagues around me know that the the Rhone Valley are my favorite red wines in the world. So I'm super excited to bring this to you. Uh, to start off, this is owned by the Morel Brothers. Close Saint Shine is a very small production. They only own about 41 hectares in Chateauneuf. Um, and they have maybe the best Southern Rhone consultant in Philippe Combe. He consults for some of the best wineries in the Southern Rhone. And uh, to have him on board even lifts this to the next level. Um, it's imported by Eric Solomon, which is one of the best importers for French wines in, that come into the U.S. And it's a 2016 vintage. So 2016, to start off, is possibly the best vintage that we've seen uh, in recent history. Uh, Wine Spectator has the, has the highest rated vintage since 1988, uh, and Robert Parker has it as the highest rated vintage that he's ever rated of any Chateauneuf de Pops in, in history. Perfect growing season, dry summers, uh, nice and cool fall with a perfect harvest time. Uh, these wines are very, very full-bodied and super lush, but balanced in flavor uh, and complexities. Uh, almost all the Chateau Neuf de Pops from 2016 have some kind of ageability, um, and this one being the old vines from Clos saint Jean, which means it's the oldest and best vines they have, um, has a very long longevity to it. Uh, so yeah, I want to taste it with you guys, because I'm super excited about wines like this. So right off the front, I mean, terroir is the drive in Chateauneuf de Pop, but in really good vintages, I tend in the early years to get a little bit more fruit. So you get a lot of this kind of plum, uh, definitely like dark blackberry, uh, a lot of tobacco, leather, and a lot of that kind of sandy soil thing going on the nose for sure. When tasting wine, a lot of bright fruits up front again. It's still pretty young, 2016's. Really not gonna be ready to be pop and pour consumed for at least another five years. Um, so kind of raspberry, dark cherry, definitely that plum thing still goes through, but the terroir of these wines are what really drives it. A really earthy tone, a lot of savoriness, a little bit of that cracked black pepper, uh, a lot of that kind of you know herbaceousness that comes through the wine. And you can feel the body and the structure just lasting forever. Like I said, if you wanted to open this in you know, the next year, a couple months from now, this needs to be open a good hour, hour and a half before consuming. Throw in a decanter, wash some air into it, uh, and really let it open up. Otherwise, these wines will last 10, 15, 20 years without even trying, and I think the best time to start drinking them is not in probably until 20, 24, 25. Um, definitely a cool wine to give away as a gift, uh, special occasions, anniversaries, things that you can consume later on in life. Um, but yeah, really amazing wine from a really cool producer from maybe, you know, I'm a Northern Rhone guy, but Southern Rhone is definitely my second favorite region in the world for red wines. Super excited to bring it to you. I hope you guys enjoy.